Hello, everyone. Welcome. Today is day zero of Welcome to Your Super Dream. And I am so excited to have a day zero. So we still have this chance to look forward to day one. If you're watching the replay, I'm so psyched you're here. Um, this is going to be an amazing opportunity for us to turn on our superpowers for creation. And I'm going to let people join, but as you arrive, just get comfortable in your space, remove any distractions, grab a journal, that would be helpful so that we can um, we can begin our journey together. So if you're here, say hello in the comments so I know who's here. And because we're using a special tool, um, you may need to, to put your name in there. But let me know if you're here. And my intention for this time together is that we get to not only bring that the water, the sunshine, the nurturing of the, the visions that we have for our lives, that we also get to discover and go beyond those edges how many of us have um, had dreams pop into our awareness or desires for change and heard the inner critics come up saying, no, you can't have that. And then you, you sort of put it aside. Hello, Ivy, yay. So in this, I am very aware that um, we may have some surprises with ourselves in, in meeting some of these dreams that we may not have been able or willing to, to face and sort of say hello to. So great, I see people are joining. And if you're watching this in the future, yay, that um, all of these are, are going to be recorded and saved so that you can come back to each one. Good morning. Awesome. So as you arrive, just begin to be present with good morning. Just begin to be present with what it was that inspired you to come here. And if you haven't done a class with me before, you're going to be hearing bulldog snoring in the background, which has started full force. Yay, Casey. Yay, Corey. Hi, hi, hi. Awesome. So, um, and some of you, if you haven't, this is, this is broadcasting in some spaces. If you haven't officially joined us yet, you're welcome to do so as it's day zero. You can join with us for the official day one. But today we're getting started. We're, we're absolutely going to um, be in the creation. So as you arrive here, maybe even note, hello, Susan, note what it is that is part of the super dream that you know today. You know, be aware. We're also going to do a little process to access that even more. Because here's the thing, like as we are aware of our 
super dream, whether it's in healing or finding love or creating greater love in our relationships or or just wanting to have more space and ease and joy in our life, that all of these visions and dreams, these are already part of you. So they are already within you. They're already available. And it's our job to be in relationship with that. So as a relationship coach and teacher, my, my belief is relationship is all there is. So oftentimes with these things that have been sort of bubbling within us, sometimes we keep them on the back burner. And so when we can have time together, hello, Deborah, time together to, to be in relationship with our visions, our creations, our desires, then it's like nurturing a friendship, a relationship. And there will be, there will be a dialogue, there will be interaction, there will be, you know, being aware of what it is that this dream or vision is requiring or asking us. So that's when we take our vision. So if you've ever done a vision board or made a list of things that you're wanting for the year, what, however you do that, sometimes we, we do that and then we leave it. And there is, that is, that is part of it. But then there's also like, okay, well, what is having done that actually creating in our world? There's, there are these additional um, engagements and, and awarenesses that arise as a result of acknowledging these dreams. So Ivy shares what motivated, what motivated me was a desire to have support with being true to my heart's desires. I love that. The power of group, accountability, insights, increased belief in self-love. That is so perfect. Yeah, and that's that's exactly what we get to do. So I love that Ivy brought that up because, you know, right now there's, there's a group of us right now, plus there are all the people who are going to watch the replay, plus there are all the people in the future, plus there's all of our own divine teams that that led us here that had us turn towards that thing on facebook that announced it or open the email or whatever it is that that got you to take that first step so be aware right now of having chosen this and what additional capacities you have as a result of that you plus all of these others, plus all of the future people, plus all of the the divine teams that are attached to each one of us. I mean, that just continues to multiply. So right now, are you willing to just like receive that? So close your eyes and take a moment to sense and perceive all of the levels of support and connection and divine coordination that is available just because you're here today and you're part of this community.
So noticing that matrix. And as you notice it, sense and perceive yourself receiving it. So lowering any barriers to receiving that. So you may sense tension in your body, just taking a breath and letting that move away. Taking a breath anyway. And just lowering any barriers to receiving this greater connection that's here. And knowing that as you're here, that there is nothing, none of your dreams are more powerful than you as the source of them. So, so anywhere where you've made these, these dreams, whether it's a love story or creating more peace in your life or calling in more money, like none of those things are greater than you. You are the most powerful creator. And, and these desires that come through you are coming through you because they're meant to be manifested, actualized by you or through you. So right now, acknowledging that. So if, if there's parts of you that are have this sense of oh well you know maybe that's not meant to be like maybe i can't have that or maybe you know maybe that's too much i'm gonna have to use my tool so will you go ahead and put those into the to the magic bowl any of those fears those doubts Put them in the bowl and yes, bye bye. And um, so let's begin our session with a little discovery. Okay, so um, go ahead and arrive in your space. And if you have your journal handy, great, but um, we'll probably want that in a second. So just go ahead and close your eyes. And as you're here, taking a couple breaths to connect in with your body. And as you connect in with your body, include your body as part of your vehicle of creation. Your body is the, the tool. Your body is part of you as the creator. So, and it's an important part. So many times we kind of move around as a head in our just working in our mind and, and overthinking and letting the inner critics drive. This is an opportunity to get out of your head and into your body. So you can even imagine as you close your eyes, like you have a little elevator within, you go from your head space and you just go down the elevator into the space of your body. And as you breathe and arrive in your body, just your imagination is going to guide you to that, that heart center. And that may feel like you're arriving like literally in your heart as the organ, but it may be the center of your body. It may be the whole of your body. So just arriving in the center of your being, that space, that source of 
the whispers, the sparkles, the the nudges, the pull of these desires that are part of your super dream, whatever it is. And as you arrive here, imagine like you are stepping into a virtual reality of you experiencing and having the dreams that you've been asking for. And you may not even fully be aware of all of them until you get into this space. So your imagination is just going to show you just like that, this experience. And I encourage you to get up in your space and stand up and actually stand up and move your body around. So like you're closing your eyes and maybe you're just turning your body to witness and experience and sense and perceive what is occurring in your life having stepped into this super dream. So taking a moment to notice and as you're here, you begin to start noticing more and more about it. So continuing to slowly circle around in your space. And you may even want to move your body, move your arms, look down at the ground, look up, looking all around as you breathe in this this space that you've arrived in, noticing how you feel as you arrive in this space. And, and you may even notice the specific things, like if you are here and your super dream includes a beloved, notice your person. Notice how you move in this space. Notice how you're dressed. Notice the environment. Notice what it's like to wake up in this space. Notice your, your body in this space. When we are aware of the super dream, it, it becomes a thing that ripples out into all areas of our life. So when you have, you know, maybe if you're, if you're calling in feeling more support in your life, if you're calling in having more ease in your life, if you're calling in having more money, you're calling in having the love of your life all of those things notice the ripple of that like what is that actually bringing you what is that actually bringing you ease comfort peace what are those things and so as you're here in the super dream, it may continue to morph and transform and, and just allow whatever it is that your body, your being wants to show you about these desires that live within you. And with each breath, your cells are waking up to this, these desires within you. Going, oh, oh yeah, yes, hello, yes, hello. And with each breath, noticing 
having arrived here, you may even sense from the space what it was like to be the you before arriving in the space. So looking back at the you that may not have been aware of all of this here, looking back at the you before that may have had doubt or fear and just noticing, wow, what it's like to be here. And maybe you even have a sense of what you want to tell yourself, your, yourself from before. Like, here's what I know from this space. Here's what I know about this space. And speaking out loud or even jotting some things down in your journal, what I know about being in this space. So if you like to take notes, you can stay kind of in this space that we're in, but, but look down at your paper and, and take some notes about what you're noticing here. And for some of you, if you like, it's kind of fun to do sort of a nonverbal thing. If you have some crayons or some colors, being able to put it on paper um, in documenting it in that way. And just as we are noticing this space, taking a few notes here, allowing your body to really sense what it's like to be here and even describe that, what it feels like to be in this space super dream what it feels like because as you sense and perceive that your body gets to be merged with it it's not just this little spot in your head this is about you and as you include your whole body begin to sense and perceive how it not only fills your body, but begins to expand beyond your body. So as you're here and aware of what it's like to arrive in this virtual reality of your super dream, just, just notice that this includes the space you're in. This includes the space beyond that space, that you in the energy of you is infinite. And begin to notice how the energy of this dream, as it expands out beyond your body, merges with all of the super dreams merges and connects in and contributes to the oneness. So as we are in our super dream, recognize how this is contributing to transforming the planet and contributing to everyone else's dreams. So you being in this alignment, in this space of possibility, this space that only you are connected to within you, that this is not separate from all of the other dreams. It becomes an in incredible healing ingredient for the greater purpose, the greater healing of the planet. That this is the space. When we're in fear and when we're in limitation or scarcity or worry, 
then we're pinching off the hose of this, this greater medicine for the world and the universe and beyond. So right now, making that commitment to yourself. So you can write it on the paper. I am committed to my super dream now and forever. You can write it down using your name. I, Macy, am committed to my super dream now and forever. Don't use my name, use your name. <laughs> so go ahead and write that down. I insert your name and committed to my super dream now and forever. This is the power, the magic, the miracle that you be to the universe. And this moment right now, as we even sense and perceive all of our super dreams intersecting, supporting each other, elevating each other, supercharging, adding that next level sparkle to each other's dreams. Just notice the ease that's available here. Notice the ease that is available for you to be resting and relaxing into this matrix. And how fun is it to be able to be expanding in your super dream where it just kind of locks in and connects to all the dreams so that you get to relax and receive. So turning that on, you know, consciously, and we're going to do this, a lot of these things on a regular basis, daily practices of switching it on. So find in your body right now the switch to turn on the receiving. Click, switch it on. Just using your imagination, find the switch, switch it on. Turning on the receiving. And here, your opportunity, your, your homework that's the play in your life is that you get to follow those little like fairy sparkles of inspiration and you aren't the one that needs to decide, oh yeah, this is right. This is the right move. Just follow the lightness, the excitement, the magic. If it's going to have a slice of cheesecake or taking a walk or calling a friend or signing up for match.com or going and riding your horse, whatever the thing is, do that thing. Do that for you. That is the next step. And I am super excited to continue this. So today's piece was being aware of the super dream that's right here in the virtual reality within you that as you say hello to those desires just hello 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 that then that expands and it naturally 
expands as, as those dreams within you are acknowledged. It expands and connects into the super dream matrix, which is absolutely how we are going to heal the planet and all of your things none of them are silly or too much so please any judgments you're having about your dream put them in the magic bowl oops put them in the bowl right now any judgments you're having oh that's too much or oh, or i should be be doing more or uh, da, 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 da. whatever the judgments are all of the judgments Put them in here. There we go. Um, because this is your journey. And, and in the upcoming days, we're going to have a lot of fun exploring different aspects of this, continuing to nurture it. But yes, as you expand into it, you get to relax into the matrix relax into the matrix and then follow this the sparkle follow those those pieces it's a it's a really big week on in the united states for sure and i know that it's you know big all over the world and so you know it's going to be really important to take care of yourself and this is how you do it this is nurturing your super dream is how you do it deborah says i needed this i have to let go of my fear and a new relationship because i'm just living from old stories instead of being in the experience okay great deborah anyone else want to put some old stories in here go ahead and put some old stories in the bowl of brilliance one two three put them in there i see some of you holding them back put them in all the way in and okay good yeah so and mandy writes i mandy am committed to my super dream now and forever awesome so then during these weeks, so if you're watching this and you haven't officially joined us, I really recommend you message me and we'll get you signed up before the price jumps because I am I extended it for a couple more hours. Um, so this is the beginning and we are going to go in, we're going to explore different parts of it. I'm going to include your questions. So what are your questions? Definitely i love having you as part of the co-creation of this your questions really matter and then we will um we will continue this because one day of this is one thing but when you can put this together and make this part of a daily practice which we will you know we will continue to connect in these ways but discover you know, okay, well, what happens when you run up against this, this limitation or this barrier? And we'll, we'll learn ways to navigate this so that you can be here. And together, all together, we are creating so much greater in the world by showing up here. So I'm so grateful that you're here and with me and, um, yeah, I I can't thank you enough for being a part of this because this is something that I felt in my body and being was really needed at this time. So um, thank you for being here. All right, we'll meet again tomorrow, same time in the Super Dream private group and... I am so excited for that. Let me know how this was for you. Put it in the comments, um, what you're noticing. Put it in the comments, what it is that you're 
inviting if you want to share. You don't have to. Um, I think some of the, your super dreams can be yours only. And then there's other ones you may be inspired to share and and put into the field. Um, so that is something that I say, you know, check in with yourself on that. And we'll see you really soon. Bye, everyone.